Hello, online learners. Part four, digestion. Here we go. Um, when I was looking over the reading guide, so I realized we missed uh, the point of explaining the role of bacteria in the large intestine. And then we need to come back to the five hormones that affect uh, hunger and say, satiety, satiety, satiety. Sorry, I had to look at that one extra hard. Satiety. I wanted to go sat yet anyway sat tie a t it's it's pronounced weird but anyway that basically means feeling full so if you're when you satiate your hunger that means you take care of your hunger so that's the definition of that anyway let's go back to the role of bacteria in the large intestine i hinted at it a i hinted at it a bit but we didn't go into much detail so to the textbook there is a paragraph in uh, on page 440 and it says right here the intestinal community the intestinal microbial community sometimes called gut flora or normal flora or more recently microbiotic microbiotica serves numerous functions to begin with intestinal bacteria aid in digestion and absorption of nutrients contain or produce certain vitamins promote surgically promote structural integrity of the gut mucosa and affect how the body metabolizes medications gut bacteria also ferments dietary fiber to produce short chain short chained fatty acids which play a role in any energy metabolism the influence can also have control over other metabolic functions of other organs. Research shows that the gut microbiome provides a two-way signal within the brain, known as the gut-brain axis. Furthermore, the, indivi the healthy individual, the autonomic nervous system, enteric nervous system, and hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis and immune system all participate in a crosstalk that occur occurs between the microbiome of the gut and the brain. And then it goes on to say the full implication is not fully understood. So if we were to summarize the functions of the gut biomes, I need to put a ruler up here to read because it's so many things. So first paragraph, or sorry, second paragraph says AIDS in digestion, absorption of nutrients, produces certain vitamins, including vitamin K, which you need for blood clotting, but it isn't produced. You can't really eat it other than I hear in tomatoes. Um, promotes structural integrity of the gut mucosa and affects how the body metabolizes medications and it helps ferment dietary fiber and break it down. Okay, so we've got AIDS and digestion, aids in absorption of nutrients, produces vitamins, including K, promotes surgical structural integrity of the mucosa and metabolic, uh, meta metabolizes medications. Wow, my M, my M functions aren't working today. Okay, so there's a whole bit of looking at that and it's just coming to light how much, how important it is in terms of the brain. And they talk about the there's such a large amount of nerves in the enteric nervous system that the gut bacteria affects the firing of the nerves and neurotransmitters which then go back and affect the brain because of the feedback loop anyway whole bunch of detail there but let's just summarize it how does the gut in how does the bacteria in the large intestine affect the body yeah, uh, so we've got digestion, absorption, uh, vitamins, integrity, and metabolism. Okay, so that's that's what we need there. So the last topic is on four four seven, and the last topic we need to talk about is the five. Okay, that didn't work. Five. Let me find it. There we go. The five hormones that affect hunger and satiation. I can say now I had to practice. For some reason, I couldn't wrap my brain around that. Okay, so look, let's look at it. And they all feed back to the brain. So, reading. 
The hypothalamus contains control centers for both hunger and satiation, which is the feeling of being satisfied. Oh, so if you think of satiation satisfied, that makes sense after eating. A large number of hormones produce a large number of hormones profoundly affect these centers. The following figure illustrates five key hormones affecting appetite. One of the hormones, ghrelin, suppresses appetite. While, while ghrelin stim stimulates appetite. Okay, let's look at it. So we've got leptin up here. Secreted by the adipose, leptin signals the brain that the body has got enough energy storage, such as body fat, therefore suppresses, suppresses appetite. Although leptin levels in, are higher in people who are overweight, obese people have built up a resistance to leptin. Okay, so here we've got a lot of substances. So let's just put that in our hormone list. Where's my hormone list? I had it open. One minute. Okay, I called it digestive fluid. That's why it took a while to find it. So when we look at it, leptin is our chemical. Oops. Leptin. And where does it, where is it produced? Where does it act? So where is it produced? Where does it act? It's secreted by the adipose and signals the brain to suppress appetite. So I suggest that since probably the hypothalamus. Okay, so produced by adipose. Add post and detected by hypothalamus. Okay, and the action is to suppress signals the brain that the body has enough energy, so it should suppress appetite. signals the body that it has enough energy and therefore it should suppress appetite. 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 There we go. Appetite. Okay. So that's leptin. Leptin comes from adipose. I don't know how I can put that together. Leptin, adipose. You're hungry. You're full. So that's a satiation one. Okay, next one. Next block. Let's go around this way. Peptide YY down at the bottom here, which is secreted by the enteroendocrine cells in the ileum and colon, signals satiety and therefore promotes, stop, promotes, serves to promote to stop eating. So it's signaled by the, the enteros, enteroendocrine cells peptide, peptide YY. So it is produced by enter and Enteroendocrine cells in ileum and colon. Ileum and colon, yeah. So ileum and colon. And colon is just another way for large intestine. And then it acts on hypothalamus. And that will give a feeling of being full, right? Is that what it says? Signal satiety, society, and promote stop eating.
And then if you have the signal of that, you stop eating. And then in the perfect world, you don't get fat. Good. Save. Next one at the bottom here. Colchicistokinin. CCK. It looks big, but if we look at it, coal means, uh, cyst means sac kinin. So it's, it, coal has to do with the gallbladder. Cyst is uh, the sac and kinin, it causes the contra contraction of the um, gallbladder. So if we look at it, it's, the cells are secreted by the duodenum and the jejunum, which makes sense. Once food is in the intestine, it will stimulate the secretion of bile and pancreatic enzymes, and it will suppress appetite. So basically this says stuff is out of the stomach. It's in the intestine. Shut down the, or stop eating. So cold Cystokinins. I have a feeling that's not a spell check word. Look at that, it is. Colchicystokinin. It is produced in duodenum. Where is it produced? Duodenum and jejunum. 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 Sorry. <laughs> and jejunum that spelled wrong is that a spell check word it is jejunum jejunum um and then it acts where does it act oh on pancreas and gallbladder and it will stimulate the release of pancreatic juices and bile, realizing that bile comes from the liver. Okay, did we get it? Secreted by the cells of the du 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 duodenum and jejunum stimulates the secretion of biles and the pancreatic cells and suppresses appetite. Let's just put one more word in there. And if you suppress your appetite, you encourage satiation. Satiation. I'm going to say that word until I can without messing it up. Okay, do we, did we run out of columns in our table? No, I got one more left. So I'm going to add one, two, three. I'm going to add one more just so that we're um, got enough to do it. Okay. Colchicistokinin. Now we've already talked about, I think Gurlin's next. Let's keep going around. Insulin. We've talked about insulin, but let's look at it. Insulin increases, insulin levels increase rapidly after eating to counteract the rising glucose levels. We learned that already. The amount of insulin releases very, the amount of insulin release, released varies according to the amount of body fat. Like leptin, insulin alerts the brain as to the amount of body fat, therefore suppresses appetite. Okay. See if we can remember that one. Insulin. Um, so it comes from the pancreas and it acts on brain. Appetite. Suppresses appetite. Is that enough? Okay, good. Alerts the brain that there is amount of fat. So it also has to do with fat levels. They think that one of the reasons why people become uh, obese is the fact that this insulin resistance or this ghrelin resistance um, decreases. Now we've talked about ghrelin before because we already have it in your table. So let's look at it. Secreted by the parietal cells of the stomach, especially when the stomach is empty, ghrelin produces a sensation of hungry hunger and secretes ghrelin 
secretions decrease about an, uh, three hours after a meal. I don't remember what we wrote up here because I didn't review. Let's look at it. Gerlin, stomach enteroendocrine cells, gastric function. Okay, so we've got that it's there where it's produced. What does it do for hunger? It produces a sensation of hunger. So let's add that. Produces a sensa sensation of hunger. Okay, so there we go. That's a good summary of all the, what I, I call it, gastrid, ga, ooh, la, gas, or digestive fluids, I guess, because they're both hormones and fluids and mucus, so it's not really an enzyme, so it's fluids. Sounds kind of messy, but digestive fluids are, especially if you are throwing up, um, then you can see your fluids. <laughs> we won't get into that because it's gross, even though I do find um, vomit and poop very fascinating. We will, we didn't talk about uh, poop and the poop chart and poop health and my vowel joke. I'll have to get to that later. That's stay tuned for class work on that. And that's it. That is digestion. Again, a lot of hormones. Make sure if it's on this table, make sure you know it. So know your functions, know your structures and your functions and your digestive fluids. Good. Keep working. Bye-bye.